But tonight, I want to show you what Syria is really all about and boil it down to what progressives say they're against, but see, they're never, they never really are. Oil and money. That's what this war is really all about. Maybe that's why George Bush fought the last war. I don't know. I mean, they said Dick Cheney was Darth Vader, Darth Vader, right? Well, let's, let me show you what this one's really about. about. Russia here has been partners with Syria for a long time. Why? Well, for one reason. This is the Mediterranean here, and the only other port that they can pull into is right here. So all of their ships that are out in the Mediterranean and, and go all out, they all have to come back in to refuel here unless Syria allows them in. So Syria is critical. It's critical because of their land mass. They have no access to warm water. They are in ice lock or land lock everywhere else. Syria provides that access to water. Without it, Russia is vulnerable. Shipping would be extremely difficult for Russia. And we've seen in the past few days as the anti-Syrian rhetoric increases, Russia sends their, trips, their, their ships back. They send actual missile cruisers right here. And they move their warships along the naval vessels to help Assad's regime. Syria is important because of the ships. But there's another reason. A dirty little secret that the media won't let you in on this time around. That this is a war for oil. And here's how. Ronald Reagan said in the 1980s, if you ever, ever let Russia build a pipeline, it will be a stranglehold on Europe. Well, in 19, and, uh, sorry, 20,000, I'm sorry. In uh, 2016, there will be a new oil and uh, natural gas pipeline that is going to open up. And where is it going to open up? It's going to open up uh, right here and go up into Europe. But first, it goes like that. It is in Syria. It is the most strategic place in the region. It's the strategic place for a pipeline to flow into Europe. It comes from Russia. And it goes through Iran into Syria. That's how it works. Well, there was another offer. Instead of the pipeline coming down, instead of the pipeline coming down like this, and then up into Russia, the other offer was for a similar pipeline and it went like this. It was a proposal by the great country of Qatar. But they were denied. It was the Islamic nation's pipeline. John Kerry recently said the Arab nations have offered to pay for the entire war in Syria. Really? Saudi Arabia is one of them. Really? Qatar is the other one. Huh? Wow, the kindness of their hearts. Or is it the kindness of their radical Islamist hearts? It's all about money and oil. They want a pipeline. And they're prepared to do anything to get this pipeline as opposed to this pipeline. By the way, you lose either pipeline. Doesn't make a difference to us. But it makes a, a heck of a lot of difference to Russia. It makes a heck of a lot of difference to Iran. And it makes a whole lot of difference to all the people who we're cozy with. By the way, we know Saudi Arabia. They're the ones we went with our hat in our hand and begged them for money during the banking crisis. But Qatar, why is that name so familiar? Oh, I remember. Qatar is the founding nation and the sole supporter of Al Jazeera TV. Ah, oh, that's right. No wonder so many progressives in the administration are singing the praises of Al Jazeera. It is all about money and oil. This is a war for oil. That was the, that was the mantra during the Iraq crisis, right? We just, all you have to do is pull the mask off of Darth Vader and you see him right there. It's Dick Cheney. Is it? Pull the mask off of Dick Cheney. Uh-oh. It looks like exactly the same game. But they're not calling war for oil today. No, they're not saying that. That they should be. Because that's the layer that everybody is missing. 
And meanwhile, our president is going to come out and say, we got to get involved because of the children. Isn't that what they accused Bush of doing? It's amazing how progressives continue to play the same game over and over again, and it will succeed unless you wake up.